Hi, I'm Jack Shilly and welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about summer bedding plants. Now, summer bedding is a hugely popular part of gardening here in the UK and thousands and thousands of pounds are spent on it every single year. Most summer bedding are classed as annual plants, which means that as soon as the frost comes in the winter, the plants will be killed off and you have to pull them out and replace them. But from kind of late May, mid to late May, right the way through until those first frosts, summer bedding is there to provide a massive display of colour for your garden, for your pots and also hanging baskets and troughs and everything like that. Bedding plants are generally really, really versatile and grow in a whole host of conditions. Most of them do require full sun and would prefer to be in full sun, that way you're going to get the best kind of flowers on them. But there are other types of bedding that can grow in shady conditions as well. And within bedding there are loads of different types of plants. You've got things like Nemesia, Petunias, Million Bells, Antirrhinums, Verbena, Begonias. There's absolutely loads. There definitely is a bedding plant for your taste and in a whole variety of different colours as well. First of all, just briefly, I'm going to go through what you should be looking for when you're purchasing your summer bedding plants. Now, take this New Guinea for example. This is a really nice looking bedding plant. The leaves are healthy, it wasn't dry when I bought it, it was the right kind of moisture level in the soil. It's got some nice blooms out at the moment, but more importantly what you're looking for are new blooms to come. You don't want to buy bedding plants that have all of their flowers out at the same time. So this has got loads of new buds to come. It's a really versatile bedding plant, really, really easy to look after. Deadhead it frequently and it will go on and on and on. These are one of my favourite summer bedding plants to choose and just look at the colour on that, really amazing. When you're buying box bedding plants, it's always advisable to have a look at every plant that's in the box. Now this is a 12 pack box of Antirrhinums here and the, all the plants are really healthy, they're standing upright, there's no signs of mould or mildew underneath, they've been well watered and well looked after. And what you want to make sure is that there isn't a great deal of roots coming out the bottom. These are really desperate to be potted on, so that's just one thing to bear in mind. If you are buying box bedding, keep an eye on this kind of thing. These need to be planted right away. Buds just starting to come out with plenty more to come. That's really what you're looking for in bedding plants. As long as they tick all those boxes, you're going to have a stunning display of flowers. So next is actually choosing where you want to position your bedding plants. Now. I don't really have a lot of space in the garden to put bedding plants. Some people have big beds and borders and raised beds that they pack full of bedding. That's great, but sometimes you just don't have the space to do that. So what I've got is these new ceramic planters. Now, you don't have to have ceramic. Ceramics can be quite heavy. They're usually much more expensive. And actually, a lot of the other containers I've already got in the garden are just standard plastic. They look quite nice. They're light, easy to move around, and are much more cost effective. I felt like going for these kind of ceramic style pots just to change it up a little bit, um, add a little bit of style to the garden. And you want to choose a theme. I think having a theme for summer bedding really worked well. So my theme for summer bedding this year is, as you can probably tell, a sort of quite exotic, very hot colours, so deep purples, blacks, reds, vivid pinks. These are a crimson colour antirrhinum. Just anything that has got really deep, vivid, vibrant colours I'm going for. And as you group these plants all together, what you'll find is that you get a really nice effect of varying different shades of the same colours. It looks really stunning. Obviously you don't have to stick to one colour. You could have a whole myriad of colours in the garden if you wanted to. Um, mixing it between different containers, throwing in some yellows, whites, pinks, reds, blues, all sorts. You don't have to stick to one colour. I personally, that's my choice because I just think it creates a really good looking effect. So, how do you go about planting summer bedding? Well, they are probably the easiest plant you can think of to plant and get started. I've got one of these containers here. Now, like with most uh, plants, you want to make sure they've got nice, adequate drainage. So most ceramic pots will already come with a drainage hole in the bottom. Um, but I still like to put um, some crocs or broken pots at the bottom, just because it adds another layer um, to the planter um, that stops it from getting waterlogged too easily. So I'm using an old empty six pack here, just polystyrene.
And then you want to get yourself good, high quality, just general multi-purpose compost. So really inexpensive, um, but packed full of nutrients, which is ultimately what bedding plants really need for them to flower prolifically and as you want them to. So just fill the container up with some good quality multi-purpose compost. Then once you're at the top, I would suggest leaving about an inch from the top of the container as a minimum. Because also don't forget, as you're going to be planting them, you're going to be displacing the soil that's here. So that's about right um, for the compost kind of being filled in there. And now comes the fun part. You can actually select what's going to go in there. So I'm probably going to put one of these New Guineas right here at the back of the container. And I will put this lovely pink million bells probably here at the front so that can cascade down over the side of the planter. I think I'll probably put a couple of antirrhinums or maybe one antirrhinum at the back here and one begonia at the front here. And this plant is going to be quite full but it's going to be a true mass of colour right the way through the season. So once you've decided what your plant is going to look like, you can create your hole in the compost. Simply take your bedding plants out of the pot and sit them in place and backfill around it, firming in well. Like that. Now you can do a little bit of tidying up. Sometimes as you're taking them out, some leaves can get damaged or you know they might be in the way. And don't be afraid to take any of the flowers off that are looking kind of faded or tired. Um, the more flowers you take off, ultimately the more the plant is going to produce in the long run. So I've got my new guinea impatient in there. Um, actually, I think I'm gonna change my mind. I'm gonna put one of these trailing petunias in instead, this lovely red color flower. Again, create your hole. Take the plant out. Pop it in. I always think with trailing plants it's advisable to kind of put the root ball at a slight angle so that the plant is already starting to cascade down the side. Um, that way you're just giving it that kind of gentle helping nudge that it needs um, so it knows the direction of which should be growing. Like that. And then the antirhymes are going to be quite tall. So I'm probably going to put just one at the back. They're quite bushy plants as well. Probably squeeze one more in there too. And then lastly the begonias, just at the front here, which I think will add a nice contrast with the green foliage of the other plants. It also kind of matches the New Guinea impatient at the back. I think that looks really, really good actually. It's packed full of plants that are going to provide colour throughout the year. A little bit grey with the soil and the rain at the moment, but that will wash off fairly easily. So you've got the height that will come from these. These will stand about this tall eventually. Big show of flowers. The New Guinea will continue to bush out and produce loads more of these hot pink flowers. 
this trailing petunia will start to cascade down over the side with loads of red flowers here and these begonias will stay fairly compact they're quite a compact bedding plant they're just going to stay quite tight here at the front just provide an extra bit of that red kind of color but it's really imperative that you do keep deadheading all of your bedding plants as it's just going to provide you with more color more and more and more flowers so that's one of my summer containers done. Another cool thing that's starting to work its way into the world of garden centres at the moment are these type of pots. Now this is one particular brand called a confetti garden and what they do is they pick really cool varieties of plants that really complement each other, put them all together in one single pot, so this has actually got three different types of bedding plant in it, and then leave them to grow on creating this instant colourful planto. So this one has petunias, calabrocoa, million bells and verbena, trailing verbena. The petunia as you can see is this lovely dark purple colour, the calabrocoa is pink and the verbena is also going to be like a dark pink colour. So a really nice mix of very similar colours. And all you would do with this is simply take it out of its pot and plant it into another. So I've got one here that I've already done. And this has been growing in here for a little while. Um, so you can see the verbena is really going. The calibrico is a little bit further behind on this one, but it's there. And the petunia is absolutely going crazy. And that's all there is. I've literally just planted it in a pot full of compost, and that's it. You have an instant container that's going to provide you with loads of colour through the season. So that's just a short little video on summer bedding and some of the styles that I'm going for this year, and also a brief how to plant a bedding container super super simple multi-purpose compost a container of your choice bedding plants of your choice plant them all in and deadhead regularly through the summer that's really all you need to do thanks so much for watching um, please do post any pictures of your bedding containers or any questions that you have on my facebook and twitter feed so facebook.com forward slash jack shilly gardener twitter at Jack Shilly and also be sure to follow me on Instagram so you can keep up to date on how my garden is doing at Jack Shilly. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, like the video if you enjoyed it and also post any comments, thoughts or queries in the box below. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.